Hey friends, the Lord bless you. Evangelist Rob here at Rob Woods Ministries. Before I prophesy, decree, and declare over your finances, friends, the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and add no sorrow, that the finances of God are going to overtake you. You're going to be blessed coming in and going out. You're the head, not the tail. Before I continue, I need your help as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, it'd be an honor if you subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. And if you look on my channel, the videos that are over six minutes are Bible studies that are relative and relatable that you can use to have the victory in Jesus. And comment positive, hit the like button. Friends, let's just get into this. Just stretch your hands towards the screen, the impartation of the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Many times is not taught, but quote. So, Father, I'm asking you, if anyone has any lack, if anyone has a need, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the God of more than enough. We're asking for ideas, strategies, platforms, business ideas, out-of-the-box ideas, inheritances. Let money come to people in the name of Jesus. Let finances come to ministries so they can preach the gospel of the lord jesus christ now before i continue and pray more just a little disclaimer i'm not one of those prosperity dudes trust me i'm not a guy of money 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 you know i i don't have a you know i well i shouldn't say that. the point i'm trying to make is we do need finances to live in life because if you're broke you can't be a blessing and i'm not putting no one down with that term by the way but god does want us blessed but i'm not all in fact my whole ministry is financed entirely by me i've been on tv 10 years i'm a business person i've been on tv almost 50 shows a week seven tv stations quit i pay for everything airtime discs yada yada so it's a lot of work but that's irrelevant but friends i couldn't do that unless i was blessed in my business as a financial advisor for almost 30 years so I'm telling you, the Lord can and will bless you. Now, you may not be blessed now, but that doesn't mean you're going to stay broke. you got to give God something to add on to. You've got to add your natural to his super. Jesus is supernatural. So you've got to ask the Lord for an idea. In other words, don't ask the helicopter to drop, drive, fly over your house and just download a bag of money. You know what I'm saying? We got a part to play in this. The Lord working with them, confirming many signs and wonders. So the Lord's not going to do it for you. He's going to do it through you. Hallelujah. And that's just Bible, man. If the, the garbage is coming out Tuesday, angels aren't going to come pick the pails out, put the garbage out for you. You got to put the pails out. Now, a lot of people say, well, I just want the lottery ticket. Well, whatever. You know, that can and does happen, I guess. But sometimes we got to put some legs to our faith. Amen. The number one prayer request to any ministry all over the world you would think would be health or relationships, sickness, uh, men, it's finances. Uh, the, you, 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 you take a poll of any ministry, the number one prayer request always is finances because you know, the devil wants us broke because when we are, sometimes it's a mental anguish. It creates stress in our life and anxiety and worry. And we shouldn't, we should always trust in the Lord. But let's face it, if your electric bills due Tuesday and you don't have money to pay the electric bill, you're going to be concerned they're going to turn the electric off and you're going to be in the dark. So, but we got to be responsible now. We got to work. We got to be good stewards, obviously. Hallelujah. And I am suggesting, by the way, that one of the ways I did really get blessed was becoming a radical sower into ministries that preached the uncompromised word and message of Jesus Christ. I became radical for about 10 years, about, uh, almost 20 years, but I had a good 10 years, eight years. I was sowing into some some ministries that I believe the Lord had put in my heart, you know, and in a major way. And as a result, my business, the heavens open, I started to flourish. Now, let me give you a scripture. It's in the Old Testament. I think it's in Deuteronomy. The Lord God gives the power to get wealth. Hallelujah. So another translation says it's the Lord that God that gives you power to create wealth. God's a creator and you're a creator. And there's nothing wrong with being blessed, hallelujah, because if you're not blessed, you can't be a blessing. And money's not a sin, it's the love of money that's a sin. Someone may love 20 bucks more than someone just says they got $20 million. So if they love that $20 and it's an idol to them, 
You know what I'm saying? So we got to really say, hey, God, you gave this to us to as a steward to oversee. But, you know, God may tell you to sow some things to people. Like that. You know what I'm saying? And if you're broke and you want a breakthrough, maybe become a breakthrough for someone else that's more broke than you. And that's biblical, by the way. If you need a breakthrough in healing and your health, find someone that's more sick than you and begin to pray and plow for them. And become a breakthrough for them. And then the Lord will become a breakthrough for you. Hey, the Lord bless you. You want to check out any of the videos over six minutes that are Bible studies that are relevant and relatable. You can. They're open to you. Everything's free. And channel's not monetized. I don't do this for money. It's just a reasonable service. Now, let me just give an altar call quick. If anyone doesn't know Jesus and you made it this far, you've got to be born again. Okay, Jesus said you must be born again. I didn't say that. I didn't wrote the Bible. I quote the Bible. I know it's not perfect grammar, but you can't outdo what God's done. God gave you a free will. He didn't create robots. You can accept him out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. You control the doorknob to your heart. And Jesus comes by invitation only. The most moral person under the sound of my voice, cannot make heaven their home unless they confess Christ as Savior and their sin debt is washed by the blood of Jesus. So say this prayer with me now. It's not always in reciting a prayer. It's the faith behind it that triggers and activates Jesus to come take residence in you. And say it out loud and declare it. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being the Lord of my life. I commit my life to you. I give you my, I give my will over for your will. Not my will be done, but thy will be done. Friends, the Lord loves you. Keep the comments positive. Hit the like button. Bless you.